All right, so in this video we'll be covering link, more on linking, okay? I'm gonna explain more about different types of links you can get and you know, kind of what they are, and explain a little bit about them, and then also kind of direct you to how you can be getting these links because we've mainly been going over, you know, the on-page rules that I lay out or the, you know, the core concepts for on-page rules where you really focus on a few things. And I've mentioned how important links are uh, throughout this series, but I haven't really talked about them much. So I know your mind is probably spinning and you're probably freaking out a little inside because you have no idea how to build a link and how you're going to get them. And you know, I've, you've heard me see, say that's probably the most important part, but you know nothing about it yet. So I want to start easing your mind there and know that you're in good hands. I've done a lot of work over the years uh, putting things in place for my students where I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I've tested uh, tens and tens and tens of different services so I can get you guys services to work the best uh, so they do things the way that I like them done to get the best results so you guys have a lot of things in place that um, I don't really talk about publicly that I've set up for you that you can use uh, that will really help make linking a lot easier okay so I'm not going to get too deep into it because I go into that pretty deep in the advanced training. But what I want to do is at least talk about the different type of links you can get, uh, how you can get those links, and then you know I'll show examples of what some links look like so you can kind of correlate it in your mind and see you know what it is. Uh, and then from there, I think you'll be a lot more comfortable uh, and your mind will be a lot more at ease as far as links go, knowing that you're going to be able to do this. Okay, it's not that hard. I've put a lot of things in place for you. And uh, you know you'll you'll your mind will be a lot more easy after after this video for links. So here's many of the different types of links you can get. There's probably other ones outside of this as well, but these are the the main uh, links that that I usually get, especially these top three right here. So I'll explain all these links though and what they are. All right. So let's start with guest post. Now a guest post is a link that you get by posting an article on someone else's website and then in that article you put a link back to your own site. So basically what they get is an article, they get free content and a lot of times they'll also get a fee, you also have to pay for guest post and then you get a link back to your site. There is plenty of guest posts out there that they'll, they'll, uh, they don't charge a fee and as long as you give them content you're allowed to you know, link out back to your own site. They're, they're harder to find uh, but there's a lot of guest posts out there that accept payment where you can put up an article on their site and have a link back to your own site. So I'm going to use my um, over the shoulder series uh, precision mold removal to give you an example of one of my, my guest posts I use and this is right here is a guest post. So basically I reached out to this either I reached out to this site or I had a service do it for me. Now, for you guys, I have some guest posting services set up that are very good that I've been working with for a long time. One particular one, um, and they do such a great job with guest posts. They do ex exactly the way that I like it done, and I almost like kind of train them the way I like, and now they offer that type of you know guest posting services to all my students. So. This service is as simple as you go in, you tell them what you want, and they do it for you. They do everything for you. Of course, you got to pay for it, you know, for each link you get. But I have a service set up for this that is extremely powerful. All right, and it's only getting better. Nothing out there like it, and uh, it's going to be awesome for you guys. But this is a guest post. I probably used a guest posting service for this, where I said, "Hey, you know, I gave them all the details. I'll show you how to give these services all the details. I give them the details they need. They go out and they get a link on this site." You know, they, they name it something relevant because I, I, told, I told them to. I, I explain exactly how to order a guest post in the advanced training. Uh, and then if you see, here's a link to Precision Mold Removal, which is my website, okay? So I got a link on another website linking back to my website. That gives me credibility. And what's this article talking about? Mold Removal, okay? Mold Removal. And it's linking back to my site on mold, so it's very relevant, all right? So that's a guest post. It's just an article that's put up on, a, on another website, and then of course you want to link back to your own website in that article so you get linking credit, all right? The next thing on our list is called a PBN. Now this is very advanced, okay? And this, out of all of them, is the most powerful, but it's also uh, the one that's the most risky, um, and it's the one that takes the most time to build. And I have very in-depth training in the advanced section on how to do this if you want to go this route. Um, 
and also I explain how you can use them more, a lot more safely, where basically you, you use them later on in, this, in, the, in, the, in a site's uh, progress. Uh, you wouldn't use them right away. You would build other types of links first and then PBNs later on. But what a PBN is, is it's a site that was previously owned that you can buy at auction and then use the power of that site to link to your own site. So let me back up there. So there's tons of websites out there, um, and you know these websites naturally get links. People link to them for whatever reason, and a lot of websites expire where people don't renew them. So let's say that I own a, a pizza shop. Okay, it's called Greg's Pizza Shop, and I create my site. You know, I build my business, Greg'sPizzaShop.com, and people around here they like my pizza, so they link to me. You know, businesses around here, hey, if you're looking for pizza, go to Greg's Pizza Shop. Maybe I built some citations, which we're going to talk about next. You know, um, you know, just different companies around here and organizations link to me naturally because they really like my pizza shop. Every time you get a link onto your website, it makes that website more powerful. So as the power builds for that Greg's Pizza Shop website, anything that Greg's Pizza Shop links to gets more power going to it. Okay, so with power going to Greg's Pizza Shop. Those links are pointing at that domain name, all right? So let's say that I own my pizza shop and I die. Well, guess what? I'm dead, so I can't renew my domain name. So when I don't renew my domain name, that domain name goes to auction, okay? And Or let's just say I go out of business. Maybe I change businesses. I don't want to do the business anymore. So I let the domain name renew or expire. A domain can expire for a number of different reasons. But when it expires, all those links that are pointing to that domain name are still there powering that domain. So you can pick up these pre-powered domains, turn it into your own website, and then link to you know, one of your properties. And that basically takes that pre-powered property and transfers power to whatever you're linking to. All right, so it's very powerful, but there's some risk involved that I cover, again, in depth in that section, all right? You don't need them to rank, but they can be very useful, and I use them um, you know, uh, in certain situations, and they they can they can really help you out. All right. So an example of a PBN, I have quite a few going to this site. I have one, two, three, four, five. These all these five are PBNs. These two are PBNs. Um, so let's just go to this one. And basically, this intervention mag it was you know the the domain whoever owned it they didn't renew it. Okay. And I just, I bought it, I turned it into my own site, and I linked over to my website. I don't know which one of these links goes to my site, but one of them does. Here it is right here, okay? And that links over to my uh, web page on Dallas Mold Removal. So I'm using this PBN to power my precision mold removal site. This is an example of a PBN. I show that whole process, step-by-step, -step, how to do PBNs in advanced training. Don't worry about that. That's the most advanced linking option, okay? So let's go to the next one. I mentioned this one already, citations. These are the most common types of links you're gonna use for any type of local business. So any type of business like you know that's like city service, you're gonna use citations for most likely. Uh, and citations are basically just like, almost like directory listings that list your, like, your company name, your phone number, your address, and things like that. Some good examples of um, citations are like yellow pages. So this is an example of a citation. It lists a whole bunch of uh, company names, where they serve, their phone number, then of course a link to their website, and things like that. And this is an example of a citation, all right? And there are services out there that you can use that will do all your citations for you. Um, so I'm not gonna give the actual services in this because this is, the, be this is the, you know, the, the beginner workshop, but in the advanced section, I talk more about services you can use. They do all the citation stuff for you, okay? All you have to do is enter in some information, your name of business, phone number, email, you know, click the pay button, they do your citations for you, all right? So both guest posting and citations, I have services set up that will do that all for you, okay? PBNs, you gotta do that yourself if you wanna use those, but everything else, uh, citations and guest posts, I have services set up to make that very easy for you, all right? Article submissions, I don't know if I have any for this site, but these are basically just sites where you can submit an article, uh, and uh, you know it's free, you submit your article, you get a link back to your site. It's kind of like a guest post, but the site is, um, usually these article sites are known to do that, so you might not get as much oomph out of them, uh, but I will mix that in here and there. So let me see if I have any, I don't think I did any article submissions for this site. 
but I'll show you an example. So one of the most popular article sites back in the day was Ezine Articles. All right. So basically what you can do is you can sign up, you know, you could submit an article. And here's some recent articles to show you what they look like. So this guy wrote an article, or this guy or girl wrote an article on China plastic injection mold manufacturing. They just, you know, they submit an article, and then bam, they have a link back to their website. All right, link back to their website. So they submit an article. Uh, it's free. They put a link back to the website, and they get a little bit of credit there. Okay, I mix it easy and sparingly. Article submissions I mix in sparingly, but that's an article submission. Right, and there's tons of different article submission sites out there. Uh, directory links, just like submitting to a directory, kind of like a citation. Um, let's see if I have any for, for precision mold removal. I think I saw one up here. Here's one, regional directory.us. This is kind of like a citation again. This, this could be considered a citation as well. Um, here I am right here. This is almost like a citation actually. So citations and directory submissions are kind of similar sometimes. Um, let me go directory submission sites. Never do bulk directory submissions, by the way. Never do a, a service that offers like a whole bunch of directory submissions. Never do that. All right. Let's see. You only individually submit to directory sites used. I'm just trying to find an example. Let's see here. Let me see. If this one doesn't have it, I'll just I'll move on to the next one. Let's see. And here we go. These here's a bunch of them here. Okay, so like entire web, you know you can you can probably sign up, you can do a free submission, and then you can submit your site, and you can like choose the category it's in. So I would choose like services, mold removal, and I'd just put my site in this directory. Now for directory submissions, the only way I usually do these, if I see competitors using them, that are ranking well, okay? So I showed this in the advanced training. One of the main ways I get links, one of the, one of the big ways that I get free links, so to speak, are analyzing competitors. So for example, if I'm trying to rank for you know SEO tips, let's just say, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see who's ranking number one for SEO tips, and I'm going to go see I'm going to go see what type of links they're getting, right? And the way I do that is I throw them into my tool, my Ahrefs tool, and I see what type of links they're getting, and I see how can I get links in the same places. So if I scroll down and I see that they have a directory link somewhere, then I'll go to that directory and try to get the same link, as long as it's a good link, okay? But that's that's a directory link. It's much like a citation where it's just like a, a submission to a directory. And you just, you kind of get listed with, you know, the, these directories have like, you know, services and health and all these different topics and they just list websites that are resources for that particular area. All right. A Web 2.0 link, I, again, I use these very sparingly. Uh, you'll hear Web 2.0 a lot. These are sites like um, like one of the more popular ones is like Tumblr you may have heard of, where you can basically create a property and put up some content and link, you know, link to your own site on it. It's kind of like an article submission in a way, but you get your own property on the site. Um, what's some other ones? Like Hub Pages is one. And again, you can just create an account. You get like a subdomain on hub pages. You can you can put up content and link out to your own stuff. Again, I mix these in very sparingly. Okay. Uh, social links. I have a service for that, where it's basically like it will go out and create this service. You know, for like a hundred bucks, they'll go out and create like a Facebook account for you, Twitter. Um, you know, like a whole bunch of like social accounts, which is like you know Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that type of stuff. And you get links back to your website from those social services. All right, so I have a service that you, that you can you know use in the advanced training uh, for social links if you want. 
All right, forum links. These are links from forums. So, you know, if, if you're in mold removal, uh, we, you can go try to find forums in. Or again, a lot of the forum links I get by analyzing competition, right? So if I see my competitor has a link on an SEO forum, I'm going to try to get a link from that same SEO forum. The reason I wouldn't just go out and try to get links from forums because a lot of forums don't allow you to do linking. But if a competitor already has a link from a forum, that tells me that forum may accept my link and that that may be an easy way to get a link. Okay. So again, forums are another way that I usually just use competitors for. If a competitor is getting a link from a forum, I try to go get the same link sometimes. And then lastly, blog comments. Again, I use these very sparingly as well. These are just comments or these are just links that you can get by placing a comment on someone else's site again these are hard to find sites that accept them so these are another thing where if i see a competitor getting a link um, from a blog comment i may try to go get the same link and i believe i do have a link from a blog comment on this site let's see this one right here this is a blog comment so what i did was i think i reverse analyzed which of these people I think these, was it these guys? I don't know. One of these sites that are on this page, they were ranking well for something. So what I did was I just reverse engineered uh, what, you know, what, the, what, where they're getting their links. And I found this property and I saw their comment here and that they allowed a link. So I placed a comment and look at me, I got a link. Okay. And it's relevant. It's talking about mold and, you know, mold free bathrooms. So it's relevant. So I went and placed that link. And that's what a blog comment is. It's just when you place a comment on someone else's site. Harder to find someone who accepts. So usually I save that for when I analyze competitors and I steal the places they get blog comments from. And I use those very sparingly. Okay. So those are the different types of links that you're going to kind of hear me talk about. Mostly what you're going to be using are guest posts and citations and then sparingly for all this stuff and then of course mix in PBNs at the end of things when you really need to get some oomph and some power and that's more advanced. But what's good for you is the two things you're going to be using most you have services for. So you have people who can do it for you so you don't have to worry about even building the links. You just give them the information you want and I tell them how to give them the proper information. I tell you how to do that. Um, and then you order and they'll go do the linking for you. They'll go, they'll go get the link for you. So hopefully that eases your mind a little more about you know how you're going to be getting links. I go a great deal into more depth than this in the advanced training where I show you how to build PBNs. I show you how to actually order guest posts and how to actually order citations and how to reverse engineer competitors to you know get these type of links and how to know which links to steal from them. When I say steal, I just mean get the same links or get links from the same resources. Uh, and that's all in the advanced training. But now, hopefully you know that getting links is you know not impossible. Uh, we I actually make it pretty easy for you, especially with the guest post and the citation thing. And um, you're gonna you're gonna be fine there, okay? And now you understand how you're gonna be getting links. Your your mind should be a little more at ease. So I will see you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this.